Hi everyone, Lyndall here. Um, you might notice that I'm coming to you today from somewhere a little bit different. This is actually my classroom at school and it is a science lab. So I thought what I'd film here today to show you somewhere different, but also because I'm gonna do a little experiment to show you something. So today at church, the adults are learning about something called sanctification. Sanctification is a really, really big word. It's got 14 letters, that's how big this word is. Um, but it's a big word that means being set apart for a special job or being made holy. Now, I'm going to use some things from our science lab here to talk to you a bit about sanctification. So, I have a couple of science equipment things. I have a beaker, and on that beaker, it says Jesus. Okay, and that beaker's got some clear, clean liquid in it. I've got a small beaker, and it says us. So that's going to represent us. And we are, um, we like to think we're a bit like this beaker. The liquid in this beaker is nice and clear, it's nice and clean. And we like to think that we're pretty good people. We try not to hurt people and we try to do good things and we might be kind to people. But do you know that the Bible says that everyone has sinned? And here we have, this one's called a conical flask. And it says sin. And sin is icky and it is mucky. And even though we like to think we're like this one, the problem is that the Bible says everyone has sinned um, and everyone does things. Maybe we lie sometimes. Maybe we get angry and don't speak very kindly to other people. Maybe we've even cheated before or done even worse things like than that. So the problem with sin is that when it comes into our lives, it changes us. And you can see now, instead of being nice and clear, we're a bit murky and yucky too. Um, and there's elements in there, in all of us, um, that shouldn't be there. Maybe it's bad attitude. Maybe it's laziness. Um, maybe we put other people down or hurt other people's feelings. And, you know, God saw this and he said, that's not what I want. Um, he said, that's not what I intended for the people that I love and I made and I care for them so much. So he made a perfect rescue plan. And his rescue plan was Jesus. Jesus was clean and clear and perfect. And even though Jesus lived on earth, for ever since he was a baby, even as a little child, he didn't sin. He never sinned in his whole entire life. And so that made God's perfect plan because Jesus had no sin and we have sin. Here we are with our sin. So God's perfect rescue plan was that Jesus would take all of the sin onto himself. So. Here's all that icky, murky sin. And God's plan was that Jesus would die on the cross and he would take all of our sin. So you watch. What has happened to all of that icky, murky sin? Jesus has taken it on and he's perfect. And he's still clean. And it, the liquid in there is still clear. It's pretty cool, isn't it? So when we say yes to Jesus and we ask him to fill us with his power, it changes everything. We are able to get some of Jesus's power. And even though we have sin in our lives too, and we're yucky and murky inside, Jesus makes us sanctified. Look at that. Now we're clean again. So this is us when we are sanctified or we've been made holy by Jesus. And Jesus sets us apart. We can't do it by ourselves. We couldn't get rid of that yucky, mucky sin on our own. We had to have the power of Jesus to do it. 
uh, 2 Corinthians 5, 17, 5, 17 <laughs> says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, a new creation has come. The old is gone and the new is here. So our old sinful way was dirty and yucky, but with Jesus in our lives, he makes us clean and clear again. Um, you know, that actually doesn't make us perfect, though. Uh, we still muck up. We still sin and we make wrong decisions and we get angry and we say things that we shouldn't say. But um, even though we sin over and over again, sanctification is a process that um, keeps going. And we are very, very lucky because God's forgiveness never ends. Um, he keeps forgiving us and he keeps cleaning us up and making us new again. And we can become more and more like Jesus every day. And that's part of the process of sanctification. So we can do that by reading our Bible um, and we can learn more about what God wants for our lives and what he wants us to do with our lives. We can do it by praying and asking God to help us with decisions or help us to make decisions that would make him proud and make us more like Jesus. We can also do it by listening to and learning from people around us who know Jesus and know about Jesus and then they can um, help to teach us what they've also learned about Jesus. And we do that when we go to church and we learn from the pastors and what they have to say or if we go to kids' church um, or you might have chapel at school and that kind of thing. So I hope today that helps you to understand a little bit about sanctification, okay? So being made clear, setting apart and being made holy for God. Let me pray for you. Dear God, thank you for loving us so much that you put a perfect rescue plan in place by sending Jesus. Thank you for sanctifying us and making us whole. Please help us to learn more about you so that we can keep becoming more and more like Jesus. I hope you have a great week this week, guys. If you scan the QR code today, it will take you to a colouring sheet for our Bible verse for this week, which was 2 Corinthians 5.17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, a new creation has come and the old has gone and the new is here. Have a fantastic week from me and my friends. See ya.